Hi, I'm just going to share why I choose most often when I do my post to choose to add the feeling of I am feeling hopeful. Um, if you've seen any of my posts, most of them do say I'm feeling hopeful. You might be wondering why. Why am I feeling hopeful? Well, I'm hopeful because you are watching this video now and therefore you are going to hear the truth that Jesus loves you. And this fills me with so much hope because once you and other people have heard the truth, this is the truth and the truth will set you free. And with everything that's going on in the world, you can't unhear the truth. The truth is still the truth. And um, I praise God for your life. I thank our Father for his Holy Spirit leading you to watch this video and for you to, to hear this, to hear this truth, for you to know how much you are loved. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God has not given you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love. A spirit of power and a spirit of a sound mind. And there is no height, nor depth, nor any other creature that will be able to separate you from the love of God. Love never gives up or never loses faith, is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. Praise God for your life. Praise God for your life. Why am I hopeful? I'm hopeful because, because if God is for us, who can ever be against us? And not only does Jesus Christ love you and love me, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Hallelujah. The word of God. My word that goes out from my mouth will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire. And our Father in heaven, his desire for you is, to, is for you to come fully into the truth, for you to have a revelation of how much you are loved by our Father, a revelation of the truth that, that you've been potentially searching for. Oh, praise God, a revelation of who you are in Christ, that you are a precious, precious child of God. I praise our Father that you are going to start living in faith. Faith that is a confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. In this world that we're living in and the battles that are going on, people may plan all kinds of things, but the Lord's will is going to be done. And another message from our Father to you is for you to know that the spirit who lives in you is greater than the spirit that lives in the world. Jesus asked, will you never believe in me unless you see miraculous signs and wonders? I am hopeful for you, for your life, because perfect love, perfect love that comes from our Father, his agape love, his perfect love expels all fear. If you've been through trials and tribulations in your life, then know these truths. You should never ever be ashamed of what you have been through because God is going to use your story for his glory. And that storm, that storm that you've been going through, particularly during 2020, the storm that was sent to break you is going to be the storm that God uses to make you. Hallelujah. And I have hope. I have eternal hope. I have hope for so many people in the world because the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. And 
and God uses broken people like you and me to rescue broken people like you and me. And finally, I have hope because the light always shines in the darkness and the darkness can never extinguish it. And then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. This is why I choose to add the feeling of being hopeful to most of the posts that I do. Because I know that just one message, just one word, just one piece of music, just one piece of scripture could be the seed that when planted in someone's heart and mind is the seed that is going to grow into something quite profound. A seed of truth that our Father in heaven will water, will use to transform you. To transform you from the inside out to renew your mind. <sighs> Praise God. Praise God for your life. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Angela. Praise God. I'm doing a Facebook Live video at 9 p.m. with Joseph Belieber about the Holy Spirit, about walking in the Spirit. And maybe you'll get led to watch that video as well. But know this. Now faith, hope and love remain. These three. But the greatest of these is love. God bless you and protect you. You are the apple of his eye. You are a precious, precious child of God. Agape Paul. <laughs>